hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another brand new playlist uh, which is going to talk about graphql and all about graphql graphql ecosystem graphql in the context of node.js and uh, with the different providers like we are going to talk about the prisma apollo yoga and all these different graphql clients and server okay so what is the the primary agenda of uh, this particular playlist we are going to talk about Apollo, uh, Prisma, Yoga, and uh, different GraphQL frameworks which are available in JavaScript world, okay? So our primary focus will be on these different sections, okay? If we talk about what all we are going to talk about is, first we will try to understand the GraphQL. I already have created few playlists if you want to have a look how GraphQL works. I have covered GraphQL with Apollo, GraphQL with uh, the basic Express application. Like there is Express GraphQL or if you want to implement it with Apollo, then there is Apollo GraphQL server or there is a Yoga is another library using which also you can create a GraphQL server. So there are many ways. So first of all, you will try to understand GraphQL schema, uh, queries, mutations, subscriptions without any kind of database. Like with a simple JSON we are going to play with then we will understand how to write a query, mutation and subscription. That will give us the simple insights about the type, schema definitions and all. Once that is done, we are going to have an integration with the database. Like mutations and query. Query will fetch the data from the database. Mutations will mutate the data, uh, mutate the, the database state. Like update, delete, insert, all these things. Then it's all about all different libraries we are going to cover which is like neo4j graphql uh, rql gql uh, we have apollo server apollo graphql server uh, graphql type graphql is another library which is heavily on the typescript side of writing uh, of writing a graphql server in typescript then there is a yoga which is another library to create a graphql server where you are just you are just providing the the schema uh, files and just creating these mutations and queries okay so we'll talk about graphql authorization graphql api pagination how graphql can connect with the prisma and prisma is like a orm layer can do the insert update delete in the database so your database entities can be as simple as a simple CRUD operation or as complex as simple shopping cart application we can build. We have the, the product, we have the cart, we have the user. These kind of relationships, relationships we can maintain and we can choose one of the ORM type ORM SQLize uh, uh, Prisma or Next as a query builder. If you don't want to use a heavy ORM we can use Next. So these all these things I'm going to cover in the playlist. So I'm already covering another playlist which is talking about ORM or entity object relational mapping right and there are multiple libraries sqlize type orm and x orm2 and another is a prisma right so if you are going through that playlist that will also help you and through this playlist you will also understand how to expose the data through the graphql queries and mutation because that uh, orm playlist is talking about how to fetch the data from a different database using different orm and that is purely rest the only difference is here we are going to talk about GraphQL. So only the difference is there I will be talking about REST, here I will be talking about GraphQL. So GraphQL, here we will be mainly focused on the query mutation and subscription, how to actually hit it from the postman, how to expose the query and mutation. There we are going to talk about the basic REST APIs, which is going to do the complex calculation of the data with the help of the type ORM. Or maybe with the simple MySQL Postgres query, you are going to hit to the database. Okay, so this is my main focus for these two different playlists. One is talking about the ORMs in the data in the Node.js because people are familiar with the different different ORM. They have a different perception. So we will also do a relative comparison where to go. Okay, I I, I just wanted to write a simple CRUD. Uh, why, why you need ORM you can write a simple SQL queries okay but when you wanted to manage the migration seeders let's use ORM for that but rest you can write a SQL query or you can use this next as a query builder if you don't want to write a plain uh, SQL queries okay because this is lightweight this is not uh, creating uh, uh, wrapper classes like next is a query builder simple query builder but you want a type ORM for the relationship management one-to-one one-to-many many to many 
you, you don't want to write any query builder thing and all then you can use type ORM still you have to uh, use some utility methods to do the join to do the select and all these queries with the help of type ORM also because type ORM is just a custom wrapper but when you need to write the complex queries complex join one to one one to many many to many you still have to figure out how to fetch the data from multiple tables similarly sqlize is a popular one type orm is popular with the typescript prisma is something which is totally new next is a very popular for the query builder okay and so there is a lot of things going on with the graphql and rest api so my both playlist will give you a lot of insights and i will be providing the github link where I will be talking about, okay, this is a project, uh, GraphQL with the Yoga, with the Postgres, GraphQL Yoga, or maybe uh, Apollo server, with the, the MySQL and uh, Type ORM, okay? There may be n number of permutation combinations, okay? Uh, let's get started. Uh, thanks, everyone.